ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. What we're seeing now is there's a lot more vehicles that are involved. They're being rear-ended because they're able to stop quicker. It's basically to help drivers crash less and more safety systems, I guess. That's how I would summarize it, so. No, that tinfoil one, so fun fact, that's actually for a Mazda. And that, that was one of the first versions of the cameras that they came out with. And you actually would stand six meters in front of it and see if it picks up on it. And if it does, the calibration is complete. So we joke because you just, okay, calibration complete. <laughs> when I first started here, this is the Autel stand. And we had used this for literally everything. It did the job. We still use it to this day. Depending on what you're doing on the vehicle, normally it will go in the front. You would set up wheel clamps. You'd install on there. And then this will shine a laser, which goes on the actual board back there. And then you would true it to the vehicle. So you would do this on both sides. You would have that centered with the car. So you'd move it side to side to get the same measurements on both sides. This flips up, which gives you your yaw. Once you get it centered to the vehicle, you put on whatever target you need. We ended up getting the DOS 3000, which that has cameras integrated into it, which is over here. So this is light years ahead. The difference between the Autel and this, you just put this on here, which is better design. I really like this because you're not actually touching the rim with clamps. You actually fire it up on the Bosch tablet or the PC. It tells you what position to put it in. So a lot quicker, a lot more efficient. As soon as we got this, we were beyond excited. Like this, this is really cool stuff right here. Next to it is the True Point. We use this on the Lucids, the Rivians. This is our most recent piece of equipment and a lot of calibration centers, they use this and it's come a long way from the Autel stand. I mean, like I said, it has its place. We still use it occasionally, but going from that to this, to this, technology's come a long way, especially in the last parts of five years that I've been here. Yeah, it's really cool just to see the changes on the horizon and plus all the different methods of madness that the manufacturers are using. There's almost literally nothing we can't do. I, the amount of times that I've had to send something to the dealer, I can count on one hand the whole time I've been here. And a lot of times we've had the dealership actually send us cars because they can't do it. So, yeah, so that's kind of cool. <laughs>